UFC has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Deep to return. He'll return it from the one. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Knocked out of bounds around the 39-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. Evans picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. Great run, nothing going on there. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Good stop there by the freshman. You gotta be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. From their own 46 yard line, third down. Quick throw, caught by the fullback. And the ball hawking safety scoops it up. He's taken down at midfield. So the defense recovers the ball after the fullback coughed it up. Well, he's really going to hear about it from his coaches. you got to protect the football. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Nice run up the middle. That's how we do, Dean. That's how we do. They don't want to know. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 45-yard line. Here we go. He's tackling at about the 35. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. at the 24. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. From the 24-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. Slings it. Brought down at the 15. Gain of nine on the play. That'll make it 31. Fires incomplete. Woods, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And he's taken down around the six-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. So they go to the air, and they come away with six, Kirk. Man, Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defense nowadays is so tough when you get inside the red zone. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 49-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So our score, 7-0. Tennessee lines up for the kickoff. Powers from the two. 
tackle at the 24-yard line. Tennessee's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Seven yard line. First down. They'll bring him down around the 50 yard line. senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. From midfield, it's second down. Tackle made at the 43. trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Throws it in a hurry, and down he goes at the 37. This is the ninth play of this drive. Back with a carry, and they get nice yardage on that run. That brings up second and five. From the two-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 23. It's the 11th play of the drive. the stop at about the 15 yard line that makes it second and two it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks the defense had that one called perfectly that's a big play on that Play 13 of the current drive. Come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come out here. Come get some. You don't want it. Looks middle. Got his back. He's taken down at about the 11. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. Level at the 12. Loss of one for the fullback. I'm sure this running back will be looking around for that guy the next time he takes a handoff. And this is the 15th play of a very solid drive. He 
tries to get around the corner. Runs right for a nice game. They're at the six. It's third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick strike to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the three. He gets it up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tennessee holds a four-point lead. He wants it all. And he's got it! He'll take it all away for the touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary, but the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. At the 30. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. The Volunteers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. He gets rid of this one. Yeah, let's get sack lunch. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Five wide. First down grab by the receiver. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line. First down. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, the Volunteers in front by 11. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Four down, four down. Mark 22, Mark 22. Cut up. Down. Two 80. Up, 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 up. Gets out to around the 25. First down. From the 25 yard line. First down. Mark 22, he's got the 22 spot. Very good tackle in space. That makes it second and ten. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Pull it down, pull it down. Back 22, back 22. Hey. Passes. Tight end's got another one. And they'll score. How about 
the tight end. This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. Smith back to Brown has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the 6. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee is up four. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Game of 11 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Here we go. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That was a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. is out to the tailback on the screen. He's at the 40, and they push him out at the 37-yard line. The quarterback dumped it off, and everyone did a good job of blocking up front. Doesn't get much better than that. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. He goes out of bounds right around the 34. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Tennessee is up by four. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. It's up, and he splits the uprights. to kick this one away for the kickoff Bradley deep to return in a game that's this you can't afford to waste possessions the sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set now he's scrambling Slides down to the ground. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Caught. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Thirty-eight 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 36. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. Carlson, the intended receiver on the play. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee staff right now, I would think, going into halftime, Kirk's got to be happy. I mean, here's their guy not having the kind of game he's used to having. But if they can get in the lead, I think they'd go right back to it. And to think that this team at this point has the lead, and, and considering the way their superstar has played, they've got to feel pretty good heading into halftime, knowing that it's a matter of time until their, their bell cow starts to really start to hit on all cylinders. And I wouldn't be shocked at all. You know, even though they have the lead, he hasn't played well. You go into the second half, you still got to try to get him his touches and his carries and hope that eventually he catches fire. And who knows what this offense is really capable of doing today. Well, they run it left and a nice tackle right there. That makes it second and ten. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Tennessee up seven points. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. Throws it to the outside. And it's caught. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Vols. He gives them another score, his second in the passing game. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game, it usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 44. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. pick and he dropped it you like a team that's ready to defend the pass it takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that from their own 25 yard line it's second down on the reception look out nobody there across midfield inside the 30 
Tackle made at the 19. A screen pass works by using a defense's aggressiveness against itself. That time, it worked perfectly, just as the offensive coordinator drew it up. It feels good when a play gets executed that well. Now it's first and 10 with Fence trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And down he goes at the 21. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Tackled around the 12 yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they get nice yardage on that run. So we got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. Got the touchdown. That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brown gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Tennessee's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's second and 10. Ball in the 29. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 49. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. Tennessee is up by a touchdown. Ready. Green on the <laughs> Quick toss. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, that 10 to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. He's out of bounds. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Here we go! Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. From the 26-yard line. First down. Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. The Volunteers taking their first time out of the half. They'll bring him down at the seven. The Volunteers use their second time out. This is the eighth play of this drive.
throws it, and he's got the tight end again. He's tackled around the four-yard line. Eagle, that makes Eagle, first in goal. Tennessee is up a score. <laughs> throws to the halfback, touchdown. He is ringing up the points with all these touchdown throws. That's his fourth. This passing attack has been unstoppable. The secondary doesn't know what hit him. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 71-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. And he just got drilled. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field. Oh, what an interception. We're going to find out what kind of character this football team has. I mean, I thought they could get back into this game. Now this big interception, let's find out what kind of character they have to try to get back in the game. From the 45-yard line, first down. He's in trouble. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle around the 28-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. Can't make the grab. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws right, intercepted. He breaks it. And he is drilled at the 29-yard line. Brad, this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. First and 10. Man, Ball on their own 29. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 31-17, Volunteer. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Half Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The big fellas on the offensive line dominating this game right now. I mean, the defensive linemen in the pass rush, they've got no shot of having any idea of what's going on with the quarterback. They can't even reach it. Well, you know what? It's nice to be a quarterback that sits back in the pocket and he kind of pats the football once, twice, three times. And then, Reese, he scrambles and runs around because he's bored. That's what he did in the first half. I mean, the protection could not have been any better. The quarterback had all day to throw the football. If that doesn't change, it's going to be a long second half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He steps out at the 28. That makes it second and eight. It's 
second and eight. Ball on the 28 yard line. He's got to throw it in a hurry. They'll make the sack. Loss of eight yards on the play. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 30. Bradley is back deep to return the punt. Bradley takes it at the 32. Oh, what a hit. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Toss is left. Intercepted. Brought down at the 45. their own 45-yard line. It's first down. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's at the 30, gains his way to the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Full out there, check the out there. Four down, four down. Three, three, the right. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Gain as he works to the right side. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. Tight end left, tight end left. Go down, go down. 43 the right. Let's go. Green 88. Green 88. He throws right. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. Five touchdowns now for this quarterback. He's having just a terrific game today. Simply an unbelievable display of passing that we've seen today. And he tacks on the extra point. Tennessee is ready to kick it away. Powers from the three, and he's taken down at the 23. Kirk, this thing is getting out of hand and downright ugly. Well, they just can't get anything going on offense right now. They are down big. They've still got some time, but the clock is starting to become their worst enemy. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. He 
is knocked out of bounds at the 29. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. We've got a first and 10. All on their own 35. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. Midfield. First down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled at the 34. the 34-yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Got a man in and out of his hands. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Quick throw. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 78-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. The score now, 38-24. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. And for Stallworth, he's been causing headaches for this secondary all night long. Uh, you know, Brad, he's just one of those go-to guys. And when he catches fire, there's just not a lot of defense can do to slow him down. He's blowing big holes through them on a clip of over 20 yards of grab. He's helped them get to this lead, so we'll see if they ask more of him to build an even bigger cushion. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. They'll work the left. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Takes it right and brought down right away. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten.
was complete, and he stopped immediately. And so it's another third down upcoming here. That'll bring up third and six. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop at about the 45. That's a game of 10 on the play. Maybe seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. Oh, it's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. And this play is number eight on the drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. The screen pass gets it to the back. He's taken down at the 45 yard line. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Second and eight, ball on the 22-yard line. Gets rid of it quickly. Incomplete pass. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page. And they're gonna have to be if they expect to win this game. six-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Nice run there. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. That'll make it second and four. Roger, Roger. 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. So with one quarter remaining, Tennessee leads it 38-24. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. Now, this is a good job by the wide receiver of making sure he was beyond the first down marker and then hanging on to that pass. From the 33-yard line, first down. He's at the 20, inside the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Here 
He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads. He's delivering the football in rhythm. And the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. And you know about his ability to make the decisions, but you have to have the arm. And this guy has one of the strongest arms in college football. He can make every throw as we've seen today. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Tennessee is up a score. Here we go. He passes it, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. First down. the 31. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. That's good for being 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's brought down in the open field. Taylor in the tackle at the seven yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Two down, two down. Here we go. And he's tackled right away. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Gives it up the gut. Touchdown, Vols! And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Powers takes it at the four, and he's tackled at the 20-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Open field, brought down at about the 25-yard line. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 25. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number nine, the intended receiver on the play. That will make it 35. He's on the run, and he's taken down at the 30. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Now he's scrambling. 
It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Slings it. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. And that completion gives him over 300 yards through the air. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. One thing I'll add, though, is that his team is losing. And yards don't mean anything unless you win the ball game. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's a game six on the play. That brings up second and five. From the 40-yard line, second down. He's at the 30, he's at the 20, to the 10, and he scores! Touchdown! You love to have a home run threat like him in the backfield. Every time he touches the ball, he's capable of tearing one off like that. Tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 79-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. At the 30, he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out on the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Tennessee is up seven. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And down he goes at the 44. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 44. There we go, here we go. They get a good seven yards on that one. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. four-yard line. It's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 30, and he tackles him hard at the 28.
Quick throw. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. it to the 18-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They're all tied in line here on fourth and short. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Fights forward to about the 16. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. That makes it second and 10. From the 16 yard line, it's second down. A little over a minute in the game. And he's level at the 15 yard line. The offense calls a timeout. It's the 11th play of the drive. Made the catch, but he's knocked out before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The defense calls a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice run, and he's brought down. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. The Volunteers, 45, the Big Blue, 38. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.